Well, to discuss the story we brought you a bit earlier about a new survey by the American Payroll Association showing that more than two-thirds of Americans are now living paycheck to paycheck. To discuss that a bit further, we're now joined with Mr. Mark Thornton, who is a senior fellow with the Ludwig von Mises Institute, who is joining us now on the line from Alabama. Sir, thanks a lot for joining us. I wanted to ask you, you know, two-thirds of Americans living paycheck to paycheck is, is an amount, is a statistic which sounds almost unfathomable to understand. Can you just contextualize that for us? How significant is such a statistic? low to me. I think that even possibly even more Americans are leaving paycheck to paycheck. We have a record number of families living on food stamps here in the United States, and it was just reported that the median family income in the United States has fallen back to the level of 1995. So the average ordinary household in the United States is definitely hurting economically. So, then, Mr. Thornton, where has the government gone wrong in trying to tackle this issue of not only unemployment but also um, people not earning enough money? Well, basically, the government has been extracting many more resources out of the economy, and we've been running a deficit in the United States of $1.3 trillion over the last four years. And they borrow that money, but the real resources of the economy are being extracted out of the economy and being used by government. And that means that the average family, the average worker, just doesn't have access to those resources. So they're using paper money, inflation, to extract money out of the family budget uh, to pay for overseas wars and uh, you know, various programs that they're running. and that They're trying to bail out various industries here in the United States. So then what does this mean then for the stability of the U.S., if, if I may call it that, in the sense of civil unrest, etc.? Well, it's, it's a unclear it's how much civil unrest you're going to see in the United States, but I can tell you from a man-on-the-street perspective that here in the United States, that the average person who is not connected with the government is very, very upset with this course of events in the economy. So people throughout, whether they're poor, middle class, or even upper class, if they're part of the productive economy, they're very, very upset. They're very, very dissatisfied with both the current administration and uh, Mr. Romney and the Republicans. They're not getting the job done, and they're not addressing the national deficit um, in the economy. And so, you know, the... I would say the vast majority of the people in the United States are dissatisfied to the extent that they're willing to, to uh, engage in civil disobedience and civil unrest. It's unclear at this point, but if something isn't done, it's going to degenerate into something like that. All right, we'll have to leave it there for now. There's Mr. Mark Thornton, Senior Fellow with the Ludwig von Mises Institute, speaking to us live from Alabama. Mr. Thornton, we do appreciate your insight here on Press TV.